And I love you, Dick Barnett. <laughs> Before the camera started rolling, you were talking about how good it felt to be back here at MSG. Oh my gosh, this is like um, a dream whenever I come back to this building because, um, you know, I was the first rapper, the first MC to perform at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Uh, I remember that night like if it was yesterday. The Commodores were on the show and Bob Marley was on the show. So I'm standing backstage, right? 19 years old. I'm standing with um, uh, Sarah Dash. So we're standing there talking. Here comes a crowd of people from the left side, right? Just moving slow, coming towards us. And I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Who are all these people? <laughs> and they come and they just stand right in front of us. And the crowd starts opening up. And there's a guy who comes out. He has some dreads on. And he comes up. It's Bob Marley. He comes straight to me. I'm 19 years old. He sticks out his hand. He says, Curtis, I like your stuff. Shook my hand, went back in the crowd. The crowd closed up and they started. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, did you see that? That was Bob Marley. And that's you at 19. At 19 years old, man. Yeah, I never forget it. it. At MSG, what a wonderful place. Now you talk great, about first. Great. I mean, you've had you're the what the first in so many ways, right? Like um, first music video, rap music video. Yes, yes, on MTV, the song Basketball. Yeah, I mean, right. come on, like you figure if you if you're gonna walk into an NBA arena, you hear that you hear it in high school games, you hear it in middle school games, college. What's it like to always hear that trademark played at you know the place that's so uh, so close to your heart? Well, it's straight honor, straight honor. Um, I didn't know it was gonna be that big. But um, I just wanted to make a song. Actually, my wife came up with the concept. Here's a female. She said, man, you should do a song about basketball. Because all these sports, they have their theme songs. You know, like baseball. Take yeah. me out mm -hmm. the Vogue. And, but basketball doesn't have a theme song. You need to do one. And we did. And it became a theme song. It was just a straight honor, a blessing. Do you think that that sort of predated the relationship between rap and, and and basketball because it feels like today it's just like it's the same oh, thing. Yeah. yeah oh yeah 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 that was the first connection you know just throughout the years i've always told basketball players uh, they have what it takes to become rappers yeah and they sure want to of, of course you know a lot of rappers want to be called become <laughs> ball players too so the thing is is that why is there that connection and and i figured it out it's the rhythm the same rhythm that you do when you're dribbling. Yeah. The same it takes rhythm to go up and block a shot. You got to time it perfectly. You know, you 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 got to be in your zone. I'm sure you heard that. So then, what do you think of rap today? Right? Like, is there an act out there today that you like? How have you seen it evolve over time? Because it's it's different, but there are some things the same. Like you said, the crowd involved, right. right? The energy, right, right. the rhythm. If you look at hip hop today. It, it, it's it's the styles have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's faster, it's wittier, it's more complicated. They have different styles. The trap sound down in Atlanta and Georgia. Uh, you got the West Coast doing their thing. Yeah. Kanye and and Common over in Chicago and traditional New York. But you know the craziest thing about hip hop today is if you travel outside of the country, mm -hmm. you go to places like Germany. They rap in German now. Yeah, it's international. You go to France, they rap in French. You go to Italy, Italian, Japanese, you know, over in Japan. And it seems like the countries outside of America have embraced hip hop and made it their own culture. So they have their own history and they have their own pioneers. And the cats who are rapping now in their native tongues mm -hmm. are the top pop artists in their country. Yeah. And it's just something incredible and awesome to see. I went to uh, the Middle East doing like a, a Bob Hope tour. And so we were in Pakistan and I was at the U.S. Embassy talking to the guard. He was like, yo, Kurt, yo, Kurt, check this out. There's a, there's a rap group in Palestine. And the songs that they, met, they make, this Palestinian rap group, the songs that they make are the number one requested songs on the Israeli radio station. It's just going everywhere. And that's the power of hip hop.
The first album for hip hop. Man. Look, didn't check my signature. Thank <laughs> you.